everyone out in Tiffin looking so cold tonight. All right, welcome back in. As always, we have our WTOL app active for the live scoring throughout the playoffs. We will have scores from every game in our area updated all night long. It is a free download wherever you get your apps. All right, back to the games. Tiffin Columbian won a share of the SBC Lake Division. They had a home playoff game against Holy Name. Tornado's already down 7-0, trying to stay in it. Chase Frankhauser back to pass, has all day. Passes over the middle, but it's picked off by Holy Name, and they will take over. Columbian on defense now. Green wave in striking distance. Quarterback flushed out of the pocket. Fires a pass out left. It's tipped and picked off by a diving Nick Herper, but the Tornadoes could not capitalize on it. Second quarter now, Columbian down 14-0, facing a third and long. Frank Hauser rolls out right, slings a ball deep down the sideline. A beautiful catch made by Kerper. That gives them the first down. And then just a few plays later, Frank Hauser on the read option decides to keep it for himself. He plows his way in for the score. The Columbian would fall at home 14-7. Liberty Center gets a home playoff game against Allen East to start the postseason. Last year, the Tigers made it to the state final four, hoping for another deep run. Allen East had taken an early lead, but LC comes right back, handed off to Carter Kern. He finds some space on the left side, and he is off to the races. Tigers would take a 7-6 lead, and they weren't done. They take advantage of a mistake here. This is actually ruled a backwards pass. That means the Tigers could pick it up. They do, and they are in great field position. They've got it inside the 20-yard line. They take advantage. Camden Krug would punch it in from just a couple yards out. Liberty Center moving on. They win it 43-12. Archbold won a share of the NWOAL. They get a home game, with but a tough test with State Powerhouse Coldwater. Archbold in striking distance. DJ Newman with the option play. Holds onto it. Marches in for the end zone for the Blue Streak score. And then they get more. Newman hands it off to Noah Gomez, who muscles his way in for a touchdown. Archbold scores late. They beat Coldwater 27-21, and a game-winning touchdown as time expires. All right, we're taking our final break. But when we come back, we are getting you set for a huge state championship Saturday. Our sports team will be working overtime as three local teams will play for state titles tomorrow. We're getting you ready for those huge ones when we return.